So, uh, so I've been wondering, you know, what actually makes up our, our day. It's been great to participate in the liturgy in the morning and in the evening, going to uh, Eucharist, morning prayer, and, and even song. Um, so the day is surrounded by uh, the liturgical prayer of the cathedral and within the community. And the day might, it varies according to what stages we're at. Quite a lot of planning in the early weeks. The planning for, um, I'm sure you both, the painting of the mosaic. And in the mosaic, it was getting a drawing in which the mosaic cubes fitted nicely. Um, once the mosaic starts, you know, increasing familiarity with the placing on it, we found that it's, it's picked up speed quite nicely and look, very much looking forward to, to the face now. So part of the day is anticipating what's to come as much as it is working on the, the piece at hand. I've been noticing how much how much time it's necessary, necessary just to spend looking at what one's doing. So maybe as much time like, uh, as uh, as much time looking at the pieces as, as making changes. Especially stepping back as much as possible to see how it works from a distance. Which we can do here quite easily because we're in such a nice big big space it's possible to get you know twenty feet away from what we're doing and make sure make sure that it works from from different vantage points. It's been great to meet a lot of people coming in and, and visiting both in the lunchtime hour but also around that. I mean, what would you see as the, the real positives? It's been a joy to meet a lot of people with different skills, different interests, well, different just, approaches. Just compared to our normal work, which is necessarily quite solitary in, in the studio with a visitor now and again, it's just been such a joy to have so many nice interruptions of encounters with people who are so enthusiastic about what we're doing. And that really kind of enthuses me anyway to carry on, to carry on, to carry on pushing the work. And also just to be surrounded by the fabric of the building. And, you know, where we are in the, in the north transept, you can see the, we can see some of the first stones which were laid in the construction of this building. And we can even see the chisel marks from the, from the masons who, who made it 900 years ago. So to feel that continuity with, with the fabric is amazing and to experience it as a living tradition.